Hi, this is Janice again. This is day 10 of my 77 day video challenge. Today I'm gonna share with you this book, some of the learnings or some of the things I learned from this book. So this is Success Secrets of the Bible and this was written by John Edmund Hagai. I don't know if I'm pronouncing it right, Hagai or Hagai. Anyway, I'm so I've been so blessed with the content of this book, and uh, I just wanna share it with you. Actually, I just I finished this book a week ago, and today I uh, I was reminded of uh, the author. So I went to YouTube, I searched for his name, and I found some very useful videos and. Uh, the, about the Haggai Institute and uh, their mission and I've been so blessed knowing that they really have a big goal a really big mission of um, influencing or encouraging people and influencers to end poverty spiritual poverty and uh, to uh, reach as many people as possible and teach them about the gospel but anyway, what I want to share with you are the things, the success secrets that John Edmund Haigai has shared in this book. Well, he says here that the first one is to know where you're headed. So you need to have a goal for you to be able to succeed. Second is to ditch the word impossible because nothing is impossible with God. If you have a vision, if you have a goal, if God has planted a vision in your heart, no matter how big it is, no matter how how it seems impossible, just ditch the word impossible and just believe that everything is possible to the person who believes. And uh, number three, never waste a failure because most successful people have uh, testified that they are where they are right now they are successful right now because of the failures that they were able to overcome they were because of the obstacles the failures that they have faced they have been they have become better and they have become more successful so don't waste your failures use them to motivate you to inspire you to do better and to be more successful in your career in your field in your business don't be afraid to fail fourth is keep it simple you know sometimes we think things are complicated but just keep it simple you know there are things that just needs to be simplified you don't have to think too hard about doing something when you can just do it simply next is Put character before career. Sometimes we focus on building our career that we forget about the character that we have. And he is telling us here that when you put character before your career, you will be more successful because you'll have good relationships. People will trust you more. People will... Um, will understand your vision, your mission, and that you're not just trying to to go to uh, to the highest level of your career, and that you're not minding the people around you or below you. So put character before your career. Then give ge generously and be wealthy. Most of the wealthy men or people that have been mentioned in this book. Are the most generous ones and uh, people some people might say that they don't want to give because they might lose their wealth but hey guy said here that you can still be generous even when you're wealthy and you can even be more well you can be even wealthier if you give if you're generous and if you share your blessings to others then train your mind um, Whatever man puts in his mind, thinks in his mind, so does he become. It's in the Bible. It's in the Bible, and so we have to train our mind to think positively, to think of good things instead of thinking about negative things, because it does us no good if we just keep on thinking about negativities, about the, um, your failures. So think of the positives instead, and 
Lastly, three time like goals. My message for day nine is about making the most of our time. And here, the last well, one of the messages is treat time like gold. And it's just the same message. Our time is precious. The time we lost is the time that we, we can never get back or bring back. So we have to make the most of our time, use our time to make an impact to others, to make a difference, to build our legacy so that when our time is up, when our time here on earth is up, we are going to leave a legacy that will last forever or that will inspire the next generation. And so, yeah, those are just some of the tips that he has shared in this book. There are a lot more and this is really, really um, helpful. And I'm, I'm going to read this again this week. I've read this already last week. I'm going to try to read this again because I just love the messages. And like what most motivational speakers say, Sometimes you don't just get the message in, in, in one reading. You have to reread it so that you can um, so that you can learn more and you can incorporate the, the principles into your life. So there. I hope you learned something yeah. from what I shared today from my message today. And then again, this is um, this book is from Dr. John Edmund Hagai. And thank you, sir, for leaving a legacy. He has already passed, but he has left a legacy and he has left a wonderful message to all of us. And I, I don't know if you can find your own copy. I got this in, or I got this from book sale. I'm so fortunate to have found this. It's very inexpensive. It's just a dollar sixty-five, almost a dollar and twenty cents. So, but this is very valuable. So that's it again for my message today. Be blessed and stay safe. Thank you for watching.